what is up guys and today we are going to go over some switch axe builds and an insta glaive build for uh fighting fatalis keep in mind that none of these builds use fatalis armor or fatalis weapons they're meant to give you the best chances before you get said weapons and armor so please don't judge me for how like crappy these builds look compared to fatalis gear builds so uh moving on let's get started okay uh, this first build here uh, was initially a theoretical build. I wanted to see if it was possible. It's um, it's three piece Lunastra, two piece, uh, and two piece um, <laughs> brain fart, uh, golden loop, golden um, golden wrath, for five divine blessing and five tool specialist. The only way you can make this work is to roll Lunastra essence on a Safi uh, switch axe. And also on that Safi Switch Axe, you're going to want to at least get uh, level 5 Sharpness. Because uh, even though this is a zero-sum spam, if you drop the blue Sharpness, like, all of your attacks will bounce off Fatalis. So you do not want that at all. So um, make sure you get Blue Nostra Essence and at least 5 Sharpness. 1-5 Sharpness on the weapon. And this uh, this build will allow you to have 5 Divine Blessing and 5 Tool Specialist for just pure zero-sum spam. So you have your Pride Break, your Power Prolonger. Wasn't able to get an Agitator or get a 4th Attack or a 7th Crit Eye, but you should be fine. And as long as you're zero sum spamming, uh, you're doing this build right. It's it's a build if you just want to do that specifically, but you can do it with like any Switch X build. You can just do it the most with this, with the Tool Specialist. So yeah, just all, also make sure with your Mantles, if you don't have, you can't fit Heavy Artillery in your build, which is going to be most of these builds. I think that's all of my pre fatalis builds. You can't uh, fit heavy artillery in the build. Just put them in your mantle. So, yeah. This next build is a more traditional, safer build. It, um, none of these builds, by the way, are using Master's Touch. <laughs> and that's for the sake of, like, like, let's move on from Master's Touch, you know? But, um, this is using the Raging Bracky. Raging Bracky Switch X with Protective Polish. And honestly, if, if you have plenty of times to sharpen, you know, and as long as um, you just sharpen at the correct times or have a wet fish, uh, you'll be fine. Uh, this only has three tool specialists, so you can't zero sum spam as much, but you still can. You can, and when you do it, you'll have you'll have more uh, raw damage. So since you have seven agitator, this build also does have uh, a fire resist, a hard fire resist echo in it, so. That should be very, very helpful. So, um, it is, you should, you should still always want to eat for, for, um, elemental resist and moxie. But, um, so, but if you, yeah, but if you don't want to, you could actually, if you wanted to, you could put a heavy artillery in this build. Because, um, you, you need a decent amount of fire resist, but as long as you're above 20, you're good. As long as you're above, as long as, as, long as you're above 20, 20 and up, you're good. But, uh, Yeah. This build right here is an alternate version of that build. It it swaps out the gloves for um for a Lathron gloves, so you get three attack and the power prolonger is exclusively on the gloves. So you don't have seven agitator, but the missing raw is made up in the with the three attack you have. So this is just it's just a slight variation of this build. And instead of having fire resist, you have recovery up, which is good for getting heals off of your zero sum. So this is an alternate version of, of making the previous build if you want to be different and edgy. Although if you're using any of these builds, you're already being different and edgy. So yeah. Okay. Next build is probably maybe the safest, more balanced build because it does have speed sharpening. So, um, so you can sharpen really quick. And not rely on protective polish as much. And it does only have 5 agitator. But you do have 4 deck. So that's a benefit. Um, So no hard fire resist. But um, yeah. Okay this last build is the Insiglave build. And honestly it's really. It's literally just a switch axe build. But just swapped out for an Insiglave. But um, you definitely want speed sharpening for Insiglave. Because that thing can uh, burn through sharpness really fast. But um, this is how it would make an Insiglate build for Fatalis, and there's no other way it would make it because I, I don't like Master's Touch, and you honestly want 5 Divine Blessing because you're going to want that 
the proc and to save you from having to like, full heal constantly. So, like, until you get used to the mechanics and stuff, I'd recommend this. Okay. And, uh, that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys enjoyed this build video. Next up should be, um... I think some healing builds. I'm gonna make some, uh... Some healing builds, I believe. So, um... Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys on Twitch. Uh... I should actually be live right now. If you're watching this, I'm always live. Okay, until next time, follow the things. Like if you liked it. Sub if you like me even more. And good night.